Hi, this is board certified plastic surgeon Sean Doherty from Boston, Massachusetts, talking to you today about implants. Breast implants are a big part of my practice and they're very much in the news. And so I just wanted to maybe highlight and clarify some issues. Um, the two types of implants that are available for patients in the United States are saline or silicone. Most of my patients request silicone gel implants. So I'd say about 99% of them and the rest um, do request saline implants. Um, the difference between the types of silicone gel implants are the texture. And there are textured implants, which are here, and a smooth implant. And these are examples of each. A textured implant uh, forms a textured response to the tissue around it. And that means that the capsule, which is a tissue that is around an implant once, once it's in a patient's body, is also textured, so almost like a Velcro connection. And that implant tends to not move and stays in place. Whereas a smooth implant is going to create a smooth capsule or smooth reaction to the tissue around it once it's in a patient's body. And in that case, the implant can move and create, in my opinion, maybe a soft natural outcome. And it's important that a shaped implant, which is this, you see how that's shaped, compared to round, it's important that that's textured so it doesn't move. And the texture and, and outside uh, component of the implant is important because it's related to something that's in the news recently, and that's ALCL. And that's a lymphoma that unfortunately about 500 patients in the world have been diagnosed. These uh, patients have had a textured implant at some point in their life and it has resulted in a diagnosis of lymphoma. It's not breast cancer, but it's lymphoma. And not every textured implant has been associated with ALC, but a particular type of implant with a particular texture. So what I want you to know is that textured implants are safe and appropriate, and if you have a textured implant, I recommend you speak with your plastic surgeon and let him or her know um, that you have an implant and have them help you make appropriate decisions related to your implants. And the last thing I'll say is that ALCL has never been diagnosed in a patient who's only had smooth implants. So breast implants are safe, well-studied devices in the United States, and thousands of patients have great results and it's safe. And so I, if you're considering this procedure, I urge you to speak to a board-certified plastic surgeon, or if you have questions related to your implants that you already have, I again urge you to speak to a board-certified plastic surgeon. Thanks for listening.